Hmm. Hello, William. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Me Pretty too. good. Pretty good. Thank you. You received already your certificate, correct? Yes. Uh, okay, okay, cool. How many certificates uh, do you have at this moment? Uh, there are maybe oh, more than two. Um, sí, pre intermedio. Módulo dos. Okay. All right. Maybe you have three or, or more than three? No, more than two. Ah, only two. Okay. okay. Pre-intermediate one and, and this one, pre-intermediate mm -hmm. two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. Okay, that, that's excellent. Hey, what happened with, with the basic levels? Didn't you take them? No los llevo? The basic mm. levels? Yes. Oh, in... I was, I was in the basic level. Ah, you were in the basics. Yes. Okay. All right, pretty good. But did you receive those certificates about the basic level? Yes. Ah, okay, all right. Okay, it pretty good. Nice, right, excellent. Cool. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Let's see, guys. We are in another class, pretty close, pretty close to finish your course. Imagine only two days, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. And you are done. You will complete your course. Are you happy because of that, William? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, pretty good, you should. Because not everyone, not everyone can last or can finish a course. It's, it's, it's difficult, but it's difficult. with effort, uh -huh, with effort and dedication, you can do it. Okay. It's difficult for many things. Sometimes many responsibilities and maybe the person it feels very very busy many many things yeah correct but we can find the the effort in things that we are doing pretty good and there will be a reward habrá recompensa right at the end okay Let's see who else is in class. Uh, Jonathan, David, if you can hear me, thank you, Jonathan, for joining yes. to the class. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Welcome, Jonathan. All right, guys, let's begin class number 13. Today we have another class that we are going to finish tonight. 
Just let me share my screen with you. There is the option, I see it. Okay, let's see. Can you confirm that you see the seal? This is a seal. Seal. Seal, yes. The animal is a? Seal. A seal. In seal. Spanish, what is a seal? A uh, foca. Foca, yes. Correct, pretty good, seal. All right, guys, welcome. Welcome to class number 14. Class number 14, pretty fast. The year is ending, your course is ending, a lot of things. Okay, nice. Let's go directly to the content of the class. Okay, uh, remember this from last night? Remember? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Present perfect. Present perfect, yes. We have to continue with other parts that are related with the present perfect. This is a continuation. This is a continuation. That's right. Okay. Uh Jonathan, can you read the question, please? Have you done your homework yet? I, to be honest, not yet, not yet. I have homework pending from the university. Uh, a homework of my model. I haven't done it yet. Imagine, <laughs> and you, your platform, have you done your homework yet about the platform? Yes. You? Yes, I guess I have. Yes, I have. Okay, pretty good. Nice, I need to follow your example because I am pending. Okay, but I will do it, of course. Okay, pretty good. Check, check, check. Uh-huh, question for you, have you? Can you read it? Have, have you, you? Have you taste got milk yet? Guys, tell me, have you tasted? Let's repeat. Tasted. Taste. What is tasted? What is tasted? Probado. We have this bottle of water. Let's see what I drink. Mm. It's delicious. I am tasting the water. All right. Have you tasted goat? goat. What is goat? Cabra. Uh -huh. Goat? Milk. 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 Yet? Yet. Yet. Have you tasted gold milk? Uh, yes, I I taste the goat milk. Oh, really? In How the, does it taste? In <laughs> the Quisalte in the Quisalte Park. In the Quisalte Park. And... Ah, in Quisalte, in the park. Ajá, hay un señor que vende. Yes. O señora. O lady. No, un mister, un don. Ah, un don. <laughs> in English, okay. como digo. En el parque yes. en el que salta hay un don que vende leche de cabra en English. Ajá. In the, in the, in the park. In que salte park. Salte peque park. Ah, correct. Ay. Ay. Como digo, there, hay, is, there is, there is. Correct, there is. Sí, you know, ya sabe. Solo mm -hmm. practique que le hace falta. There is. There is a. There is a mister. And there is a man. A you man. Can say there is a man. man. Ah, okay. okay, attention, attention. Okay. You have two options to continue the sentence. You can say, who. Or you can say that. That. Correct. You can use who or that and continue the sentence. Okay, from the beginning. In Quesante Park, there's a man who vendes silver. 
cell, cell. correct. Yeah. But you need to yes. pronounce the simple yes. present because yes. what is the what is the sentence? You are saying a man, a man, a man yes. and that is singular. Yes. Correct. Okay. That or who sells? Goat milk. Goat. Goat milk. Goat milk. Ah, okay. That is the way. Así se dice. Okay, pretty good. How does it taste? Uh, William, did you like it? When you tasted it, did you like it? Yes, yes, I like me. The milk is it's delicious. Really? <laughs> it's not, it's not very different from the milk, milk coke. Be cow, milk cow. cow. It's not, it's not different. It's pretty similar. What about the smell and the smell? Is it a strong? The smell? Mm, a little strong. A little, uh -huh. because goat yeah. milk is in the smell is a little strong, but in flavor, similar to the cow. Mm. cow milk. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Uh, guys, the first, uh, the first word in purple is? Yet. Is yet. Yet. When do we use yet? Place it. Place at the end of questions. Place at the end. Placed. D. Placed. Placed. Placed at the end of the question. Placed. Okay. The question was, have you? Have you tasted goat milk yet? Because it's a question. All right. Means. That means. Read it, guys, please. Read it. Something, Something that you have already done in the past. In the past. Ah, okay. Something that you have already done. This is a complete action that you did in a specific time in the past. That's why you have to use the word yet in questions. Clear? Clear? Hmm. Mm -hmm. In the final, or at, in the at the final. end, at the yeah. end of the at of the, the question, pregúnteme, mm. ask me, que si ya comí, me, mm. uh -huh. ask me, make me the question in English. Have you correct? Have, have you, you eaten? Have you eaten? Dinner okay. yet? Have you eaten? Eaten? Uh -huh. Dinner yet? Your dinner? Your dinner, yet. dinner yet? Oh. Ah, no, I haven't. No, I haven't yet. In the answers, you can you can say no. I haven't. Mm -hmm. And the word at the end? No, I haven't yet. Yet. What is the meaning? Significado? No, totally. no, Correct. Because you haven't done that action yet, but you will. Todavía no le he hecho, pero va a cenar, right? I will. <laughs> I will have dinner. I'm hungry. Uh, of course that I need. <laughs> I need to do it. Yes. I need to have my dinner after the class. Okay, pretty good. Let's check. This is the way. That's right. Okay, let's make it in blue, not to confuse. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. Next. Uh, William, this? This, this is, is the structure. This is the structure you can practice to talk about even, events in present perfect. Events. 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 Events, correct. Events. Okay, let's see. The structure in affirmative. E yesterday or last night, we checked it. Mm -hmm. I, I have. You, have. Singular. singular. He, uh -huh. he, it has. All right. You have plural. We have. They have. Tasted goat milk. Goat. Go 
Good. Good meal. Okay, pretty good. Go. Check. This is the affirmative. Not difficult, right? Not difficult. Next. What is the negative? Um, the negative, Jonathan. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, teacher. I I haven't. You haven't. He, she, it hasn't. You haven't. We haven't. They haven't run a marathon. Okay, pretty good. All right. Nice. Gabriel, what is the next structure that we need to question? Ask? The questions, yes. Have I, have you, has she, she, uh, she, and it has, have you, have we, uh, have they run a marathon? Okay. Have, have you run a marathon, guys? Have you run a marathon? Only in the company. For in the company? Yeah, yeah. well, it, it, it's a competition. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, pretty good. Okay, nice. Have you, have you eaten horse meat? Have you eaten horse meat? No. No? Okay. No. Uh, what is the meaning of meat? Horse. Carne de caballo. Uh, 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 horse is the may, caballo. Maybe <laughs> in, in, yeah. in some meal, but we don't know if it, the meal was horse. Correct. That is the answer. <laughs> uh, you have already, but without realizing. Ya la probó, pero sin darse. <laughs> yes, that is the answer. Correct. That's it. Pretty good. Okay. Guys, this is what you need to practice the present perfect in affirmative, negative, and in the question form. Okay. But no, don't forget the participles. They are important. Next. Practice the fractions. Contractions. Well, perfect. For the present perfect. Guys, in English, in videos, in movies, in songs, in, in books, in magazines, maybe you're going to see the contractions of many things. Please practice them because they are common. I have is? I've. I've, I've correct. I've. You have turns into? You've. You've. You, that's right. He has his? His. His. Ah, okay, his. But be careful. This might be tricky because this seems to be the verb to be, yes or no? Yes. Uh huh. For example, in the sentence, his. Um, his. Some. His. Some. Okay. Is different from saying his um his sin his sin sin song. Uh -huh. what is the difference? The perfect the perfect person. Correct. If you see the participle in a sentence, that means that is present perfect. Or, or past perfect. It de depends on the sentence. Okay, but not the verb to be. Uh, not the verb to be. It's a contraction of has. Correct. It's All a right. contraction of has. What do you have to be careful with? ¿Con qué hay que tener cuidado? With? With the, well, the, the main verb. With the main verb. Check. Mm -hmm. Check participle. No participle. Is verb to be correct. Verb to be. No participle is verb to be. Participle. Participle is the present perfect. Present perfect. Yes. Okay. But you practice that when you read. When you read a lot, you practice that. 
Okay. Uh, let's delete. Let's delete this one. Okay. Next, next contraction. She has. She's. She's. Ah, like the verb to be as well. Yes. Similar, Similar to the verb to be, depending on the next parts of the sentence. Yes. Next. It has. It's. It's, it's Tuesday, for example. What is this? Ah, what about, uh -huh. yes. What about if I say, it's been a difficult it's been day. Difficult. Uh -huh. What is yes. this? It's present perfect. It's the present perfect. Because you are using participle. the participle correct. Been. Being. That is the difference, yes. All right. Clear on that? Clear? Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Nice. Next. Again, but this is plural. You have. You. 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 We have. We. 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 They have. Dave. Dave. Aha. Correct. Dave. All right, but this is the auxiliary for the uh, for the present perfect. It's not the normal have. Okay, guys. Um, that is when you practice uh, speaking, repeating, etc. No problem. Let's check present perfect. Next two words that are related with the topic. Number one. Get. 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 Already. And already. already. Already, already. Okay. Both, Gabriel, can you read, please? Both already and yet refer to activity that have or haven't occurred before the present moment in the time. Okay. They basically, they mean the same. They refer to activities that have been completed or have not been completed yet in a specific uh, time. Example, yet yeah. is for? For affirmative and question goes at the end. At the end, all the time at the end of the sentence. Have, mm -hmm. you, have you visited uh, Canada? Guys, yet have you visited Canada yet? No, I'm not sure. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. No, I haven't yet. Okay, very good. And next, already, already, for a for affirmative sentences, goes goes after the auxiliary, have, have or has, have or has. Let's see okay. the examples. Example number one, William. She has it finished her, as, her assignment. assignment yet. Yes. Okay. Guys, important. Try to remember the pronunciation of the participles depending if they are regular or irregular. In this case, is finish, is? finish it. Finish. Okay. The, the ending is letter finished. T. Finished. Letter finished. T. Okay, finished. again, William, again, please. He has it. She has it. Finished her assignment yet. Yeah, correct. Okay. Gabriel, next. They haven't visited from yet. All right. In this one, is regular. What is the pronunciation for this word in the participle? Visited. Visited. Yes, correct. With ID. Con ID. Visited. They haven't visited from yet. From yet. That's right. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, Carlos? Uh huh. Next. Jonathan, sorry, Carlos is not in class. <laughs> I remember okay. Carlos. Okay. 
Uh, have you visited Rome yet? Ah, it is the same question. Okay, next. The next one. Jennifer has already eaten her lunch. Uh, ah, okay, in this one. What is the meaning of this sentence that you just uh, read? Jennifer has... Uh, Jennifer uh, acaba de comer su almuerzo. In, in, I don't uh, see just. No veo el just ahí que ah, significa uh, acaba de. Already. The word is? Already. Already. What is the meaning of already in a affirmative sentence? What is the meaning? Is ya. it? Ya. ya. Yes. Ya. 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 Meaning, significando, o que significa? Ya. Done. Or? Hecho. Finish. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or? Synonyms. These are synonyms. Completed. Completed. Yeah. Already means. Mm -hmm. Already means. Done. done finished. Finish. Completed. Etc. All right. In affirmative sentences. Okay. And the last one. I have already seen it. Okay, talking about movies, maybe, right? All right, have you seen, yeah. have you seen, uh, let's see, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3? No, I haven't. No, you haven't? Okay, no. I've heard it's pretty good, pretty good movie. Yeah, me too. I have already, me, I have already seen it. What is the meaning of this? Meaning, please. I have. Ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. Ya, ya, ya lo vi. Ya lo vi. Ya lo he visto. Teacher, lo but vi. in Spanish is shorter. Es más corta. Es más corta. Sorry, in Spanish. Ya la. Ya lo vi. Oh, ya lo in vi. English. I have already seen it. Ah, it's more words, right? <laughs> okay, but that is the way, así va. That is the way. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, question for you. Clear, clear on, on the words yet and already? With yet, yet is for yet. questions and already for? Yet at the end of the question. Sure. Yes. I, I can. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, yes. Uh, I well, I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, already uh, is currently used uh, for affirmative sentence, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, always that I use. Uh, uh, always that I am used to use already uh, is in present perfect or already can be used in in other time. In other tenses, in simple in, phrases. In other tenses. Ah, let's try, let's check, good question. Do you have, do you have Ready your homework yet? Mm. Okay. What do you think? This is simple present because of do. Do you have ready your homework yet? Uh -huh. Is that correct or incorrect? Is it correct? Mm -hmm. What about if you translate it? Si la traduce. ¿Qué dice? Ver, ¿Tienes lista tu tarea todavía? O, 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 aún. o aún. Ya. In question is, oh, yeah. is, is ya. Yeah, always. 
Ajá, es ya. But in interrogative. ¿Ya tiene lista su tarea de la plataforma? Ajá. So, it's correct. Uh, in some cases, you can use yet or not ready with other tenses. All right, but the meaning has to be clear. Tiene que ser claro, right? Do you have ready your homework yet? Is that clear or no? Not clear. Yes, it's clear. It's clear, yes. Okay, if you want to study more, check in the dictionary, you can find already. You type it. Let's see. It's an adverb and you can continue checking before the present time. Let's check the examples because in the examples you can determine the tense. Ahí se determina el tiempo. Okay. Example one. I, I asked, asked him to come to the exhibition but he'd already seen it. Ah, what is, what is the meaning? Le? Le pregunté Le de ir a la exhibición. Pero él ya eh. la había visto. Pero ya no. la había visto. Ah, ok. Yeah. What is the tense of this, this first sentence? What is the tense? Exhibition. It's past. Simple past, Simple correct. Past. Simple, Simple past. past. So? It is using already with the simple past with the present perfect. Okay. So it's correct. You can use it in other tenses. Let's see. Uh, this one. The concert. The concert, concert already begun come by the time we arrive. Ah, this is the opposite. Number one is the present perfect uh -huh. in affirmative. Uh, and at the end, we have the simple past. past. Correct. So your answer is, or the answer is, yes, you can use it mm -hmm. with other tenses, but not mixed. All right. Together yeah. in different sentences, but don't mixed. Um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. For example, when I use them in a simple present or simple past, uh, when I have to use it uh, before the main verb or after or when I have to use it. Already? You mean already, always? Yeah, already. Because ah. that is at the end, always, I, I think. Ah, okay. Already is placed... After the, after the, what is this? Uh, auxiliary. The auxiliary. Oh, no. It goes after the auxiliary. Let's mm -hmm. check in in this one. There it is. Check. Go after the auxiliary. Already for affirmative sentences, goes okay. after the auxiliary. The auxiliary. Uh, okay. And for for simple present. Uh, or, or simple past? Oh, sorry. When uh, I have to use it. For simple present or simple past? Mm. In that one, they already is used always in the present perfect. Check. But in my question, for example, in this one, we don't have already because it was a question. Example of a question of affirmative, sorry, affirmative using already in simple present. Do you have any idea about telling a sentence or saying a sentence? Mm. In simple person. Uh huh. Um, do you do you practice? Ah, but do you practice? Yeah. No, it's, it's, no, it's affirmative. affirmative. It's a question. We need mm -hmm. an affirmative. Mm -hmm. Using already in simple present. Let's see if it works. That was if uh, for, for example, if, if I say I already sent 
the the email or the email to my boss for example to my boss okay let's check it i already sent the email hmm what about if you translate that si la traduce yo envío ya yo ya ya, yo ya envié ya no, envío dice ya envío tiene que ser send con ya envío el email a mi jefe ya envío send es send mm. send maybe sí. ah okay sí. first thing it doesn't work pretty much with with the verb in simple present no suena bien right no, it doesn't no, sound no. good. Simple past. Uh -huh. Ya le envío. What about simple past? Sent. I already sent the email, the email to my boss. To my boss. Ya. Uh -huh. Now, how does it sound? ¿Cómo suena? Ya envié. Ya, ya envié el correo a mi jefe. El correo to my boss. In this one, doesn't work in, present, in simple present. It works in simple past. Funciona más in simple past. Huh? Okay. All right. Depending on what you want to say. Depende de lo que quiera decir. Right? But pretty much, it is for present perfect or past perfect. All right? It depends on what you want to say about your idea, about the context of the conversation, etc. Okay, in present perfect. ¿Cómo es? In present perfect. I have already I have already sent, sent the email to my boss. Ah, what is the meaning of in simple present? Send is the same I Ya le Ya Yo le, ya le envié ya, el, el correo. Ya le envié, es en esta. Envié. Sí, enviado. En full past. Ya, ya le envié. Ah, ya enviado. le he enviado. Ah, el correo. El email, to my boss. Correct. Sí. Aquí dice, ya le he enviado. Le and envié. here, ya le envié. Two different tenses. Dos diferentes tenses. Okay. Present, okay. so present perfect is like, uh, I don't remember this time in all this tense in Spanish, ah, but time, I add it, oído. time before the past. That is that is the meaning of the present perfect. It's a time. Time before the past. Before the past. It's before the past. Antes del pasado. Present perfect. Okay, guys. If not, check the lesson number 13 about the ideas of the present perfect in which cases do we use them it is here aquí está if you have doubts check this revise esto si tiene duda present perfect an, ash, an action or an action or situation that started in the past and continues in the present Ah, como dice have... que todavía, eh, todavía estoy viviendo acá, pero desde, desde antes. Mm -hmm. ah. I, have, I have lived in Bristol since 1984. Yes. Okay, and? Equal, and, and I, I still do. do. I still do. This person mm -hmm. is living there. He's living mm -hmm. there, continues living there. Ahí continúa, okay? Check. These are the, the situations in which you can use the present verb. Okay, it is in the lesson. Check, check it out. Okay, let's continue with, with more. So, you can continue checking more about already. There is a lot of information about this okay but what i'm showing you is about the present perfect okay let's see what else what else this is done okay next next part 
the word ever ever is ever is used for question two in the tense present perfect. this present is for perfect. present perfect as well we mm. have it in the simple in the in the simple present but this is present perfect example question have you ever have you ever cleaned the Everest? Climbed. Climbed the Everest. The Everest. Have you ever climbed a mountain, guys? Or a no. hill? A hill. Hill. Uh -huh. What is hill? hill. No, it's even many times smaller than, than a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Hill. Yes. Colina. Valle. Ah, correct. Colina. Colina. Correct. Ah, Have you ever climbed uh, a, a hill? Mm. I have. I have already. Um, and you? I have climbed the Pital. Oh, the Pital, the mountain. Wow. Nice. I haven't visited the Pital yet. It's beautiful place. Ah, but the weather? Cold. Mm -hmm. Pretty cold. Cool. Cool. Yes. Okay. Uh, pretty in good. My, in my case, I I didn't. Well, I I don't know how to identify the difference between a mountain and a hill. Oh, it's it's pretty. Check. This is a mountain. The hill is uh, this one. Hill. It's pretty small. It's smaller. But depending on the on the size, of course. Check. This is not a mountain. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's very it's, small. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of small. And we had checked. That is the difference. Hill. Hill, mountain. mountain. Yes, they are different. Okay. Next question. Have you have you ever been in, in Europe anytime in your life? No, I haven't. But maybe in the future, right? Yeah, maybe in the future. I haven't okay. Yet. okay, pretty good. Let's do this mini exercise. Reorder the words mm -hmm. to make questions in the present perfect tense. This one, number one. Check. What is the order? Hmm. As... Has she? She uh -huh. has spoken uh, German. She has uh, check. Questions. Questions. Oh, questions. questions. Okay. Yes. Has, has, she, has, has she, she spoken in German? In German. Uh, okay. Has she spoken in German? Gabriel, next. Uh, do you play basketball? Ah, okay. Have you, have you played basketball? Basketball? Yes, I have, but I don't like it. I don't like basketball. All right, next. Have they eaten turkey? Okay, very good. Have, have they Eaten turkey. Yeah. Okay. Have you eaten turkey? Mm. Have you eaten turkey, guys? Have I you don't tasted? Remember. Yes. <laughs> yeah. For, For Christmas. Christmas. It's pretty common eating chicken. <laughs> ah, better chicken. Ah, it's, yeah. It's or, or tamales. <laughs> or tamales. Okay. Very good. Next one. Next. The next question is mm, it has rained today it has uh, rained today uh okay but what about in the last one is that correct no Harris. Uh, uh, Harris. Harris. this is affirmative it has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Harris. So the question is, you switch it. Questions, questions. Cambia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, how is training today? 
has has it has it teacher uh, well, yeah i have a, a question here because okay. i i don't know why uh, i have to say it can i say can i ask for example has rained today only only that no with without the subject has it rained uh, today ah but in in spanish that works in spanish that works but not in english the subject must be there example for example pregúntame la hora in, in english what time it is what time is it what time is it it why it there Por qué why, por qué it in this place? Because I'm talking about the time. <laughs> we are talking about the time. Yes, it is mentioned already in this part. But the correct grammar must have it as a subject. So the same here. It has be. It has to be there. Debe estar. All right. Has it rain today? Why it? What are we talking about? We are talking about the specific day that that it rained. All right. So this is pretty much a grammar. It has to be there. That's the explanation. Debe estar ahí. All right. You cannot omit it. Simple. Okay. okay, that is the correct way to, to write grammar. That's it. That's what's told. Okay, because it's a subject. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what else? What else? Next, next. Exercises. What else? <clears throat> All right. Guys, again, you have the regular verb list and the irregular. So you can practice the participles. But in this one, in this link, we have this activity. Present perfect experiences. experiences. Yes. Uh, Gabriel. Do you want to practice using the present, present perfect for experiences in English? All right, pretty much for experiences, yes. All right, and the questions, William? Mm. Mm. Re read about the grammar, play the games to help you practice, bring the activity sheet for more practice, remember to leave a comment. Ah, this is not important, not important, the last one. Okay, present perfect experiences we can use the present perfect to talk about experiences in our lives. Our lives, yes. Lives. Number one. I've, I've been, been to, to Indonesia. Indonesia. To Indonesia. Okay. She has been eating sushi. Oh, have you have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten no, sushi? No, I have it. You have it. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, no, you have. Did you like it when you tasted it? At the beginning, uh, no, but before, no. After I taste them uh, many times, uh, I like it. Okay, pretty good. Yes, not many people like sushi. Okay, they have, they have had a bad experience eating sushi. Yes. Okay, what? What countries have you visited? Or visited? visited. Have you visited? Okay, yes, how to use it? Okay. The same, the same that is in the presentation. Use, have, or has in the, in the third form. To the third form. Examples? We've ridden a horse. We've? Ride them. We've ridden a horse. Ride them. Ride them. Ride them. 
written a horse. Written. Right then, let's check the pronunciation. It is, uh, it is not here. The participle it doesn't appear. What is the correct pronunciation? Written. Written. Yeah, written. Written. Yeah, if we look for it in this part, it's not going to appear because it's mm. participle. Sometimes the dictionary doesn't show the participles or other specific words, but no in problem. Is it written in the, in the list of the verbs? Ah, yeah, in the list, correct. Mm -hmm. That's why the list is there. Okay, pretty good. Let's look for it. Read. Read. Read? Yeah. No, read is about read read a book. Mm -hmm. This is right. 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 Road. 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 Read them. Written. 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 Okay, pretty good. We've written a horse. Written a horse. My brother, My brother has, has met, met his, his favorite, favorite singer. singer. Ah, you can you can make this a contraction, yes or no? Can you make it a contraction? Yes or no? Hmm. Like this. He's, he's, he's met. My brothers. Check. My bro oh, my. If, if you use it like that, it, it looks like it's a pertinence. It, uh huh. My brothers met. So you are pronouncing the auxiliary in the third form, but as a contraction, but it's correct. You can do it. The important part is that you mentioned the participle. My brothers met. Brothers right. met. Correct. If you mention clearly the participle, that means that is present perfect. But yes, you can do it. No problem. For negatives, okay, you have already seen it. The structure is in the presentation. For questions as well, check. Have or has at the beginning. Have you seen, have you seen Big, who is Big Ben? Big Ben. Big Ben. Sorry. I haven't heard about Big Ben, but don't remember. Has. Has she ever climbed the Eiffel Tower? No, she hasn't. She hasn't. Short answers as well. Short mm -hmm. answers are pretty easy. I Yes, I have. No, I haven't, etc. So. All right. Yes. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's practice a little bit. The game present perfect, read the sentence and choose the correct answer. Number one. I've been to South Africa. South. Uh, South. South Africa. Africa. Ah, nice. Nice, nice. I've been. I've been. Okay. The next one. She never eaten. Eaten pizza with chocolate. Eaten pizza with chocolate. Oh, okay. Check. Cheese. It seems the word to be. Mm -hmm. And never is a verb frequency that is used in simple present. Why do you say that is eaten? Eaten. Ella nunca ha comido pizza con chocolate. Ah, okay. All yeah, right. it, it, it is not the verb to be. It is the, the verb to have. Well, the auxiliary has. Okay, correct. Yes, is auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Okay, careful with that. You can be lost because you see never and never is a adverb frequency for the simple present, but don't confuse. Is the the participle. Next. He has never made a snowman. Oh, in this Christmas, maybe, maybe. He does one. Next. Have you ever fallen? Have you ever 
Alan of your type? No, 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 no never. I haven't. Have you ever... Anytime. I have a bike. Do you have a bike, guys? Do you have a bike? No? No, okay. I haven't. Yes, Do you I have a bike? Yes, I have a bike. Ah, yes, I do. Okay, when I asked you, I did it in the simple present. Cuando le pregunté a la bici, do you have a bike? That was simple present. Uh -huh. Attention to the listening. Okay, have you? Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever fallen off your bike? No, in my case, no, I haven't. Never. Next. What? I've ridden a, a camel. Oh, really? Wow. So good. So cool. Okay. Nice. Next. We've seen. We've seen the pyramids. We've seen the pyramids. Okay. Next. They haven't been skilled. They haven't been skilled. Okay. Next. How many countries has she visited? Visited, all right. Ah, those are the ones. Okay, let's finish. Ah, 100%. Very good, guys. No, no issues with selecting the correct answer for the present perfect exercise. Pretty good. Nice, nice. Okay, this link is, is this one. And you have practice with yet and already, already in three links. Check. Let's open. We have two minutes. This is a practice that you can do. The next one is exercise about the same yet and already. And number three, link number three, you have a video with the transcript. You can check the transcript that is below. So you can check the, the video about the present perfect. That is for you to practice because we don't have time anymore. It's almost 9 p.m. Okay, guys, this was the class number 14. Okay, thank you for connecting as well. And see you tomorrow for the penultimate class of the class of the of the course. Sorry, penultimate class of your course. See you tomorrow Wednesday. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for participating. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Have a bye. good night as well. Thank you so much.